Okay guys, so our next type of problem is very similar to the proportionality theorem, except in this problem, what we have are something called mid-segments. So we know it's a mid-segment by looking at how this line affects the two lines that it crosses. So you look, what it does is it cuts those two lines into two congruent parts. So because of that, that means these points here are the midpoints, so that line there is called the mid-segment. So anytime you see those congruent parts, that should tip you off that that is a mid-segment. Now the property of the mid-segment says that 2 times the mid-segment is equal to its parallel side. So what we need to do is basically identify those parts, substitute in the equation, and solve for x. So what we're going to do is exactly that. So we know that this is the mid-segment, so 3x is our mid-segment, and then 5x plus 8 is that parallel side. So we're going to say 2 times the mid-segment, which in this case is 3x, is equal to its parallel side, 5x plus 8. So then from there, all we need to do is solve this equation for x. So let's go ahead and distribute that 2. So 2 times 3x is going to give us 6x. And then just bring down this other side. Now from here we want to get our x's together. So we get an x on the right here and an x on the left. So let's get this x on the right over to this x on the left. It's already a positive 5x, so we're going to subtract it. Cancels it on that side, we're left with an 8. And on this side, 6x minus 5x gives us that positive 1x, which we can write as just x. So in this problem, it says find the value of x, and that's what we've done. We've done, so x is equal to 8. All right, so this next one. So what the directions say here, see if we can follow along. So it says uw and vw are mid-segments. So if those two are mid-segments, let's look over here, uw is there and VW is there. Let's actually make these two separate colors, make it a little easier to see. VW. So those are our mid-segments. So that means that this is half the length of its parallel side, and this, UW, is half the length of its parallel side. So if we look at that, if it want, now the problem wants us to find, well, what's the length of UW and what's the length of T? R. So that's what we need to do. So in this case, if we take a look, UW, we don't know what that is. That's our first thing we need to find, so we'll call that X. So if you remember, the equation is 2 times the mid-segment equals the parallel side. So in this case, our mid-segment is our X, is equal to our parallel side, and our parallel side here is 12. So we get 2x equals 12. We'll solve this equation for x by dividing both sides by 2. 2 is cancel. We get x is equal to 12 divided by 2, or 6. So that is equal to the measure of uw. So now all we need to do is find the measure of tr. So that's this line here, that line there. So to find that, that is a side of the triangle. And if we look, that 8 is the mid-segment that's parallel to it. So what we can say is that 2 times that mid-segment 8 is going to be equal to TR, or in this case we'll call it variable Y. So from here we just solve this out, 2 times 8, that's 16, that must equal Y. So what we can say is that the measure of TR is in fact, 16. And that's all we need to do with those two problems. So that is our mid-segment property. Just remember this key equation here. Anytime you have a mid-segment, meaning two sides are cut in half by a parallel line, you're going to use that equation. Two times the mid-segment equals that parallel side.